I'm Keisha of Simply Vintage Designs. <laughs> and I'm Hope of Hope Made Yarn Co. <laughs> and together we are Pine Bear Knits, and this is episode 30. <laughs> and we are a podcast or YouTube channel about the fiber arts. Mostly knitting, sometimes crochet, yarn dyeing, jewelry making, sometimes sewing. Yep. Sometimes reading books. Watching TV, <laughs> eating food. <laughs> yep, all sorts of stuff. Anyway, normally we start with what we're wearing. Yes, and today <laughs> I am wearing... Um, we actually it, both wore stuff. Yes, summer camp. This uh, The pattern is summer camp. And, um, of course, I made it out of Take a Gander, Hope Made Yarn. But this is, you can't, this is um, a noun discontinued. Yeah, that yes. was, like, some of my first yarn. Yeah, so this is really Twinkle early. Lights, right? Twinkle Lights and, and Soren. Soren, yes. And the base was... Jojo Sock. Jojo Sock. Which so. is a 75-25 yes. merino nylon, well, recycled nylon, but... This yeah, was the pattern I that I wasn't really crazy about because it's like, but you know what? You're right. It, it does. It looks fit kinda, really nice. Yeah. It's just a nice, it's a nice scarf. It's not a sh really a shawl. I think, yeah. I think the reason you were disappointed was because you thought you were making a shawl. Yes. It really came out as a scarf. Yeah. So that's yeah. why I wasn't, but I'm happy with how it looks. Yeah. It looks fine. fabulous. It looks great on you. Thank you. Well, I think it really looks right? really nice. And what are you wearing today? And I am wearing the Dingley Dell by Isabel Kramer. Um, I knit it in JoJo's Favorite, which is an, a fine, 75% fine merino and 25% recycled nylon. Um, it's my sock base. And I knit it in Keisha's Golden and Spring Petals. So that's, yeah. Uh, and I, she finished it in the car last year, heading to Maryland. Yes, um, I finished Maryland one Chicago. of the sleeves, and it fit me really good that day because I hadn't <laughs> blocked it yet. Because I did not do a proper gauge swatch when I knit this, so now it's a bit big on me, but it's fine. It's just a very loose t-shirty, kind of like a summer so. sweatshirt. Yeah, a short sleeve. It's it, yeah, it could have been a little. The pattern is a little more form fitting than I made it because, like I said, I did not do a proper gauge swatch. So that tells you, folks. Do your gauge swatch. Do your gauge swatch. So that you knit your sweater the size you actually want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. That was my fault. I was in a hurry and I just wanted to get started on it, and I did not swatch properly. Yeah. So do. Do we normally do finished objects and then do whips? We're all over the place. Okay. Usually we do. Do you want me to do my finished object? Or do, do you have any finished objects? To, well, you had two last time, so don't look at me like yeah, I'm crazy. two last time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then I will do my finished object, and then we can move on to our whips. So, especially since hopefully the light's still good. Oh, the light's pretty good. Yeah. It's a little off. It's a little more green in real life, I think. Five minutes ago, though, yeah. we had it. Yeah, yeah the light it was is really gorgeous. good a couple minutes ago. So this is squ Squamish. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's Squamish or Squamish. I'm not sure. It's uh, the name of a type of wind. And it the pattern's not out yet. This is the test knit that I was doing for Jenny Stamen. Um, it's The gorgeous. pattern, I believe, will be coming out beginning of May-ish. Is that your cat? Mm -hmm. No, it's not, but yes. Yes, exactly. Uh-huh. Cat looks yeah. mean as mm -hmm. hell. Well, mm -hmm. it's like... <laughs> We'll discuss later. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so this is... Wow. So now you can do it the way that I've done. I'm done with it now. This is how I'm, I'm going to have it. Or you can add a second color into the, um, the pearl ridges. I chose not to do that because I, I might have a picture that I can show you. I tried it out with the color that I was thinking about doing. And I... There yeah. it is. I I don't know. I didn't think it didn't think it added anything to it. I mm. felt like it the color that it is is such a perfect neutral. It can yeah. go with just about anything. And um, the outfits you were wearing it with, really yeah. Yeah. Well, nice. I'll we're, I'll be posting about it in a few weeks. I'm not posting mm. the pictures yet. Yeah. Um, we we're it's gonna come out later. It's anyway, gorgeous. Um, and it's so soft. Yeah. So I will be talking about this more. Mm. Um, as as once this pattern is re or is getting closer to release date, which I like, I said it will be the beginning of May. Um, sometime I will let you know exactly, probably like second or so week of May. Um, I'll let you know the exact date 
closer to the time. And it's not but, doing it just, but the flecks of different colors yeah, that are in really, it are uh, gorgeous. Uh, oh, the there blues, you go. Yeah, okay, the blues so it's and the greener. Green. In real life, it's greener than this, mm -hmm. but at least you can see the flecks of yeah. different colors when I hold it up there. Um, if you look on my website, you'll get a better picture of this yeah. color. The color is windswept. I probably should finish that. Uh, the color's windswept, and it's on my Hope's Favorite base, um, which is a 80-10-10, 80% extra fine merino, 10% cashmere, 10% recycled nylon. Um, it took less than two balls to do the size that I did, um, which is about, it's like 73 inch blocked. It's about 73 inches long and about 14 inches or so wide. Um, and how long did it take for you to complete that? I feel like it was fast. Well, to me, it didn't feel that fast, but everybody else was like, you did that really fast. Yeah, <laughs> she did. Because I would still be working on it. <laughs> but that's because, I, as I had said on a previous mm -hmm. episode, I was had struggling with tendonitis in my elbows, so right. I was not able to knit for a bit. So I was only getting a couple of rows in a day, so I felt like it wasn't growing mm -hmm. at the speed that I would normally be able to knit, but my elbows are feeling much better. I gave them a break and now I'm back to pretty much knitting like normal. Um, so anyway, it's really, here, I'll put it on real quick. It's really, a. Uh, I mean, you can wear it lots of different ways. This mm -hmm. is, I think it makes, I think it would be perfect for like spring and fall, mm -hmm. just as a wrap around your shoulders for when, you know, it's a little cool out, but you could also just wear it as a, and put it, put on a lovely shop in on it right there to keep it you know lovely shop in there yeah. um or you can wear it as a scarf which i think oh. is also very pretty yep with all the texture that it's got going on so it is okay. really warm today so I, I will not be keeping it on because i just had to turn my fan on which you probably can hear because i'm sweating because yeah. it is very warm on the porch and i have the windows open too maybe i should have opened them wider i don't know or put the fan on i don't know oh i could turn the fan on i'm gonna turn the oh. fan on Hello. okay that might help sorry <laughs> because now the sun's out because it was raining earlier yes it was pouring it was got really dark earlier today and i thought oh no we're not gonna be able to record and we're probably you're probably seeing this if by some miracle i get it uploaded you might see it on Friday evening, but you're probably seeing this on Saturday at some point. We are recording on Friday, April 12th, I think. 12. I think yes, 12th. 12. Yes, it's 12. Yeah. No, yes, yeah, just decided to shrink again. Yeah. Okay. So, so, did I say everything about that? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, so, oh, it did take, I used less than two of my balls of yarn. It's exactly 200 grams, though. Um, but my, my skeins are always a little bit more than 200. I think I had about, I had a little less than, here I can show you, it's right here. I had a little less than I think 30 grams. I think I had about around 26 grams left over. So I had that much left. And, and, but I weighed it and this is 200 grams and I still had that much left. Wow. So, so you do get a little extra yarn with my skeins. Anyway, um, so I, that, yeah, so you could have actually made it a little bit bigger if you wanted, but I wanted, since not everybody's yarn is going to be a little extra, I only wanted to be 200 grams that way. If everybody can. Anybody can make it that size. And yeah, the color's really bad now. The I know, that changed. quick. <laughs> I know, quickly it changed. Okay, so, whoo, I am roasting. Yes. Okay, you want to talk about your, do, do we want to go back and forth? You can do a work and practice yeah. and then I'll do one. Well, so, oh, yeah, so, um... Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm. Ah. My kid, too, is away. Um, and I think he thought we were... Oh, he probably did not expect yeah, us to be podcasting today, today because we normally do this on Wednesdays. We tried yesterday, but I was dyeing yarn in the morning, and then I had to take... I had an appointment in the afternoon, and I was not feeling it. Yeah. I was way too tired, and yeah, so... And due to our, um, I don't know if you guys follow me on my personal, but we had a flooded basement. And that was, that started last Wednesday? Yeah. yeah. I think it was. Oh, okay, go, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I think that started, yeah, last Wednesday. So that kind of put me behind with a lot of stuff. But um, uh, anyways, 
you know what before we get into works in progress uh -huh. we probably should talk about like what we have coming up like our oh yeah do do administrative that. type stuff oh yeah because i totally forgot that we normally do that after we talk about what we're wearing <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> so oh well i guess then we can talk about what we've been up to too oh yeah so yeah. we've got coming up uh -oh, oh, I just have a part of problem. Problem. um <laughs> we have the wool walk coming up um we're going to be at the local yarn store in south orange on april 20th and 21st yeah. um i mm, uh, the information will be down in the notes mm -hmm. i think Saturday is 10 to 6, and I think Sunday is 11 to 4, mm -hmm. but the information will definitely be yes. down below if you need to know for sure, because I don't, I think that's correct. I think I have that right. So we will be doing, we're going to be doing a trunk show there on Saturday, Murky Depths, uh, Murky Depths Dye Works will also be there. Okay. Um, so there'll be three trunk shows going on at one time there so good day to if you're wool walk if you're wool walking mm -hmm. to stop by the local yarn store um you get all your yarn and stuff and then also if you follow me on instagram um you probably would have already seen this but if you do not follow me um i am doing a collaboration with skein um skein yarn shop in rhode island they are also they have a podcast called the skein scoop and we are doing they asked uh i can talk it's okay <laughs> um they asked me to dye a signature color for local yarn store day which is april 27th and right now there's a pre-order up so you can go i will put a link down below to get to the pre-order but you can get this yarn if you want it's gorgeous it's called wild tulips and it's based on a picture from uh wicked from the farm wicked tulips in rhode island they have a it's really farm. gorgeous and so this is the yarn wild tulips is the color name and if you want it you can purchase it through skein yarn shop she's got a pre-order up right now i don't know how long the i have i mean I have no I don't know how long the pre-order will be up for. It's been up already for a little while. So mm. if you want one, I would probably hop over there and get yourself one. So anyway, that's I think is that all of our and then we also have a show coming up on June first in Cranford, New Jersey at Yarn Stormers. And I think that's oh, and we have a knit along going on. Yes. Which leads into what Keisha's going to talk about in just a second. But our knit along is called A Particular Age Cal, K A L. Um, and you can go on uh, Instagram and use that hashtag to. If the hashtag works. If the hashtag works. But tag us. You know, Instagram is amazing. Tag Pine Baron Knits on Instagram yeah. when you post. That way we will see we'll see your post and make sure that you get entered into the because we'll have giveaways at the end which it's will be in october because we're doing this is essentially it's not not our it's, we want to have these done for rhinebeck weekend we're not calling them rhinebeck sweaters yeah. but we want to be able to wear them during rhinebeck weekend so that's why we have till october to get it done right. so um so yeah, so and if you aren't on Instagram and you would like to join us, um, we also have you can also email us at pinebarrennits um, at gmail.com and that way we will know that you want to join in um, if you're not on Instagram. So yeah. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. And that leads into what she's been working on. What I've been working on. So <laughs> number one, well actually what I've been working on the most. Oh, I'll go ahead and I'll start the least. First, and that's my little poof. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because I didn't finish what what we're so it's a particular age cow. We're this is what we're working on, but you don't have to make a lapoof. You right. can either do the lapoof cardigan, you can do a lapoof pullover, or you can just make any cardigan that you want to make. Right. Or if you're a crocheter, you can crochet any cardigan that yeah. you want, and that will enter you into the a particular age cow. Yes. So I do think I got kind of far though like yeah I'm moving you're, you're moving along good. yeah so uh, i have a swatch so <laughs> <laughs> you're doing way better than me i know but you will eventually pass me down yeah. but so well, i my elbows are okay <laughs> so i was working on this for a little bit um it's looking great and i love the thank color you. i, I know, make me too. something out of that i'm color. so stoked um 
Yeah, so I'm pretty excited. Um, but I just got back to working on this. Okay, do you want me to hold it oh, up yeah, so they can see yeah. that? So, do you want to talk about the yarn? Yeah, well, guess who the yarn dyer is. <laughs> and this is, oh my God, I can't remember the color. Sea spray. Sea spray. And so it's on Hope's Favorite, yep. which is the same base I was talking about earlier. It's mm -hmm. the 80-10-10 cashmere. And I'm holding it double. Extra fine merino cashmere yep. nylon. And it feels so soft. It does. My middle son is at the door. It feels like ornery. an angel's butt. So, oh, <laughs> so, but it, this is it. So far, I haven't had any issues, and it's been a pretty easy. Um, yeah. So yeah. far, I haven't gotten to the sleeves or any of the other stuff. So, but um, so right now, I'm mindlessly. I just gotten back to that. Shouldn't have made eye contact. My middle one is at the door. So <laughs> the one that I've been really working on, because I have my list of whips that I, we talked about before, things that we should frog or whatever, yeah. mm -hmm. and um, is my uh, Stephen West um, exploration station. And I've been in this, um, the Baroche section for a minute, but I, I started getting the hang of it. So I'm just going along. And um, I was on a road trip this weekend. Um, well, I think everybody was on a road trip this weekend. Um, I went up to, um, well, first I stayed in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yes. But, um, we went up to see the eclipse in Vermont. So I'm thinking I'm all cute. Just moving right along. I tell Hope, I'm like, I'm going to have this done by the time I get back to Jersey. The bureau section, not the whole entire. And last night I'm, you know, moving right along. And eyebrows leans over and he goes, that looks weird. And I'm like, mind your business. <laughs> but he was just like, yeah, that looks kind of weird. And I'm like, no, I just think it's because I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> it was wrong. And you had to go back how many so far? I pulled back two, I pulled back a row and a half so far. And I'm pulling back the, the next row and fixing the row below it. So yeah, it's so. essentially four and a half rows, but I'm fixing it. So you'll only actually have to re-knit two and a half rows i think so the next time you'll see me i'll be done with this brioche section but i my goal i really want to have this done like that so i can cross that off my procrastinator list <laughs> and um the other thing that i was working on also in the car my eclipse knitting was <laughs> uh the bright side and this was hope's also hope sharn um it's uh oh it's um it's my hope's favorite. Uh, yes. The the in my MCN in my MCN, um, which is merino cashmere nylon, um, and, and it that's... is in the colorway from the ashes. Yes. And this colorway, my my oldest son kind of helped me. Look at that. Helped me. Uh, so this is probably turning into a share project. When I'm done, oh. <laughs> eyebrows and I will share this. <laughs> So, but those are, that's basically what I've been working on these past, like really, really working on. Cause I, I mean, this, I don't have to have done. I need to have my mother-in-law socks on. I haven't touched those that's at all. That's what you should be. I know. That's, that's what, what you should have been working on. Cause that's like mindless. I know. That would have been That's perfect. what I should have been. That's what I should have been sitting in the car doing instead of brioche, brioche while having a conversation. Yeah. So, that but I'm now tearing back to fix. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah, because your those socks are almost done. I know. They, she has tiny feet. She does have tiny feet. This reminds me. <laughs> She's probably got like a couple inches, and then just do the toe, and she'd be done with them. Oh, I even put those in the back. And you, and you know what? I even I even back. took I even took them with me too. That's you the funny thing. <laughs> <laughs> they rode in the car up, and they rode in the car, car back. back. Yep. And it was funny it's too so because. Close. Ah, 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 ah. Ooh, almost. Did you lose any? No. Okay. Yeah. And then this was my my reason for not working on them during the eclipse was like, oh, it's going to get too dark. I won't be able to see it. But I had this out and this is what I was working on. Really, Keish? <laughs> and then again, um, I did some some other things I did. I've been, uh, was it Kevin? Kevin. Kevin was doing all the, huh? Yeah. What about Kevin? I don't he know. was, was um, he putting doing? all his yarn oh, on. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you were... So then I fell down that rabbit hole of doing that. And... Um, yeah, you were putting your stash on Ravelry. Yes. Sorry for the... Something's going down. We don't know. Well, yeah. I live really close to the fire station, so sorry for the noise. Yeah. 
<laughs> but um yeah i was doing that and then of course we had the flood in our basement which <sighs> that was a doozy but we're finally kind of kind of well we are we are there's still water but we i don't know he's done piping and all this other stuff so it's being flushed outside of the house now and so we're better you know we also found out that we have a bunch of spiders that live with us um big spiders they're big <laughs> they're big she's she said me was it a video or a picture it was it was enormous. both they're gigantic and when i said to my aunt, i'm like oh is that the same one he's like oh no huh? and then there's little baby ones i'm like mm. do we burn down or how do what happens <laughs> i'm getting a bug guy i'm sorry i i can't <laughs> i cannot and i feel like now that they're all stirred up they're like oh maybe we'll go upstairs hang out up there was your phone just or was it your watch Something just talked. I don't know. What oh, it really? Was. Oh, maybe it was. Yeah, I think so. I thought oh. I heard something. But that's pretty much what what I've been up to. Oh, okay. Um, oh. But I mean, and again, should I talk about a little bit about Vermont at you know? all? Yeah, we didn't talk about. I guess we should have talked yeah. about what we've. Been so up unfortunately, to. we had separate. Uh, what do you call it? eclipse experiences? Okay. Um, I went I to Moortown not... um, yeah. with uh, uh, some friends and all, and we did. They had like a camp meet who I think one of the, like, not producers, but I guess he did the stage sets for the band Fish. And he owns that campground. And he, like, it's all, like, kind of decorated. Like, I guess, I've never been to a Fish concert before. But anyways, campground was really cool. We did a little hike afterwards. And um, it was neat. It was a really cool experience. So that was my beginning part of the week. Yes. Yeah. We didn't, I I've been yeah. mostly, I've been dying yarn, like, <laughs> Um, <laughs> I've been dying a lot of yarn. Right. It's been a little crazy for me. So that's pretty much yeah. all I've been doing is dying yarn. I've gone to a couple of, did we, I, was that after or before? Yeah, that was after the last time we podcast, right? We had the knit night at the library. You couldn't make it, right? You didn't make it to the most recent library netting. No. During, I the, to... during spring break. No. The one during spring break. The last one I did too go to. Was it the one before that you didn't go to? The one before that, because I was away. I was running. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so you were there at the most recent one. Yeah, not this past Monday, because I was in Vermont. Yeah, no, we didn't have it this past Monday. It was right. the Tuesday before that. Monday. No. And lower is Monday. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about oh. the knit night at, at Ocean City. Oh, Ocean City <laughs> Library. Oh, my God. No, I didn't go to that one. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, my God. <laughs> The one on the second, right? Right. Yeah, you didn't go on the second. I didn't go to that one. Okay, I thought you were talking about lower. Oh, my God. It's a lot of library knitting. <laughs> yeah, so we had a nice turnout again, which I was actually surprised because it was during spring break, and I didn't know if we would have a very good turnout, but I think there was like 10 or 11 people. Um, we had a few new knitters again. Um, um, so, And I actually run into a few. I don't know if any of you watch or not, but... Um, I've run into a couple of people out and about that I've been helping learn to knit and they, you know, they thanked me and said that they're really enjoying knitting and that, you know, they've been knitting every evening. So um, I was pretty, that made me feel good. I was like, oh, I'm so glad <laughs> yeah, turned more people on to our craft. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I want to say hi to Kelly for coming out at all. Yes, yes. yes. Yep. She yeah, was she's one of the people that were oh, there and yeah. I want to show so her. I'm really uh I'm really excited to be meeting new new knit or to be making new knitters and to be meeting knitters that cuz we have had some people that um already know how to knit as well. So so it's been really it's been a lot of fun. Um if you're in the Ocean City area, we are going to have another event which I should have mentioned when we were talking about upcoming events. It will be down in the notes too. I think it's on April. I'm looking, I'm looking right now. April 29th is our next knit night at the Ocean City Library. So um, if you're interested um, or if you know anybody who you would like to learn to knit, let them know. Um, we you, There's usually a, quite a few of us that know how to knit and we all just kind of, it's kind of a community effort. We, everybody kind of works together with the, the people that I don't try know to how help. to knit. Um, but yeah, so, and we have one of, uh, 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 
one of the girls who just learned to knit with us at the beginning of March is already knitting socks. So, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's pretty cool. I mean, we're really, it's really, yeah. it's a lot of fun. So yeah. Is that, so, yeah, this is, so Kelly, oh, okay. it, her husband is in one of the pipe bands that my husband, because there's a couple of pipe bands, because she also, did you know that? Did she tell you? She's also in in a band. Like oh, I the whole know Yeah. That. So I she plays drums. She does one of the drums and all. But this is what she started. So which I think is really cool. Because I mean she jumped up and popped up. Um uh, like But she was quite, a crocheter, yeah. Well she was a crochet. Yeah. I was a crocheter and it still took yeah. me a minute. Oh. So yeah. But oh. she's doing what awesome. Are you talking about? You, you, you made a dishcloth and then a poncho. Oh, that's true. It, but. Took, it was a minute. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to teach her. So, but yeah, that's really mm -hmm. cool. But um, it was so funny, too, because her husband's just like, yeah, I guess it's buying your nail. And I'm like, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. I, well, she was already a crochet, so she was already buying yeah. yarn. And her husband crochets, too. Yeah. That's what's cool. So they were already buying yarn yes. if they were crocheting. But now they're really buying yarn. <laughs> so, but. It's all good. It's all good. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much, like I said, we've been trying to, um, you know, bail ourselves out of our yeah. water situation. Like, that, that was, ooh, Not that great. sucks. Yeah. But not um, great at all. This it just needs to stop raining. Yeah, it's been. A, I mean, I get it. April showers brings May flowers, but this, this is, is crazy. Like April monsoon. Yeah, brings just a lot of flooding and mess. Yeah, it was. Just, <laughs> I think that it's been like almost constant. I get, yeah. get warnings that we are uh, under coastal flood, flood warnings. warnings. It's been nonstop yep. pretty much since April started. Yep. So. so I'm they just keep to, extending it. It's like, and I heard on the radio the other day, uh, other day too. They're like, "Oh, New Jersey, you know, f the f what forest fires? Like, um, it's low." I'm like, "You think? Like, yeah, I, I hope so. <laughs> I really hope so." Being so, as I'm driving by, normally burn. Yeah, as I'm driving by places that, oh, that was a lake yeah. there. Oh, like, you know, in the middle of the highway. Yeah, yeah. As you're driving up the Garden State in in the media, all of a sudden, where yeah, it's usually just grass. It looks like a, it there's looks ducks like there's and ponds. geese and yeah. yeah. But, yeah, <laughs> we don't have to worry about fires. Oh, oh yeah, no. you think. <laughs> Thanks. No, no fires right now. Yeah. It's a little ridiculous. It really is. But other than that, this has been, this cycle has been kind of, like I said, a little slow. Busy, because I also have been in the studio also trying to pump out some pieces, new pieces. Yeah. Well, then you can see back there, that's the yarn I've been working on. That's the yarn yeah. that's getting sent up to Skein, so... Um, and there's a bag. I don't know if you see. Oh, you can see the bag you can right see the there. Bag. Yep. That's getting sent up to game. So. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been very busy dyeing yarn. Very busy. Yeah. It's been pretty much nonstop dyeing yarn. Dyeing yarn and visiting doctors. Yeah. <laughs> but that's you know that's my life. So whatever it is, what it is. Um, okay. So I you already talked about your. Yep whips all right so my whip which is actually almost finished which i just started a couple days ago but it's a sophie scarf so they take no time at all because i'm making a small sophie scarf um what are those the pants you said match yeah yeah look, it's they just do. a darker shade yeah it's, it does it matches perfectly <laughs> i had no idea it's kind of funny <laughs> anyway this yarn is a yarn i'm testing out right now to see if i like it it might become a new base if i do i'm gonna see how how it does mm. right there yep that's about perfect the right color um anyway it doesn't have a name or anything it's just i threw some aubergine um dye in aubergine. a pot with some yarn and this is what i got so i don't know whether it may or may not become a color if i decide that i like this yarn i kind of like the color <laughs> i do and it's a good color in you yeah we'll see <laughs> anyway it is a non-super wash um extra fine merino uh 19 micron I'm trying to see if it bothers me or not, because if it doesn't bother me, it might become my newest base, because I would really like to have a non-superwash that I can wear against my skin, because thus far in my life, I have never found a non-superwash. As of right now, I'm thinking hmm. it might be good. We will see. I'm going to finish you have it a pipe. up. <laughs> good day. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to finish it up. Time. And then I will wear it around a little bit and see if it bothers me. If it doesn't bother me, then it might become my newest base. So we will see. It's a fingering weight, 
like I said, it's extra fine, merino, non-superwash. Um, it's soft, it's squishy. So we will see. I'd need to finish it, give it a good soak, and then see. So, yep. Hopefully I will have a non-superwash, which is what I would like to have because I, there are times when I prefer a non-superwash over a superwash, especially when I'm making something that I want to have be, ex be very insulating and breathable and whatnot. So... So we will see, but I'm almost done. I'm, I have, let's see, one, two, three. I have 10 stitches left on the needle right now. So, and I think I have oh, to get down to six and then it's done. Um, so. Wow, those I'm are fast. Pretty, yeah, Sophie's scarves are really fast. So, so anyway, that's the, that's the yarn. I will have most of it still left by the time that's I'm done. That's a good color. Because, yeah. I mean, it, I mean, nice. like, even like how it shows up on there yeah. a little bit, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice color. So we shall see. And as Keisha was saying, it's like just a darker shade of my pants I'm wearing yep. right now. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So that's not what I've been most. Well, I was working on the green. Um, the, did, I, did, did I ever tell them that the color of this was windswept? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I did. Yeah. Losing it, but anyway, it's been, it's Ooh, been that kind of the colors good again. I was gonna say anyway. it's been that kind of semester. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, so I was most, I worked on this a lot since we saw you last. I've been working on the Sophie scarf because I want to test that yarn out. Um, I also, I finished a full repeat. This is Day Hiker by Woolens and Nosh. It's on her 9010 Targi uh, nylon base. Um, it's her sock base. Anyway, I, I finished, so I've now got a stripe of every color. I think it's so yeah. pretty. I can't wait to finish them. So I've actually had a little bit of time to work on that. I think I was, I think that was my doctor office knitting when I was sitting at an appointment. Um, and then I did actually, which I haven't gotten much of this done, but oh. I did actually make a little <laughs> bit of progress on the blanket for Owen. I totally forgot. Yeah. So this is the um, cloudy day throw. And it's, I'm knitting it in Knit Picks Brava worsted weight, and the colors are current dove, I think dove heather, mm. cobblestones heather, and then the fourth color will be black. That's just the border of it. Um, so I'm that's what I'm working on right now. It's I haven't gotten very far lately. This is still the fourth block. I've finished three full. This will be a, a square when I finish mm. this square and then this square will turn this into a bigger square um so i need to keep working on it because it's supposed to be a graduation present anyway <laughs> well you have until he goes till he leaves yeah at the end of august yeah so it's just a lot of yeah anyway i need to keep working on it i really do need to keep working on it so so that's my I think that's all I've worked on. I have mm -hmm. still not gotten the LaPoof started, but I'm hoping that as soon as I get this yarn that I'm testing out um, done with this little Sophie scarf so that hopefully I can wear it on a day when it's actually not 110 yeah. degrees. No, I know it's not really that hot, but it is warm. It's warm. warm. I'm it hoping we have a spring. Warm. Yeah, and not where it goes like right from Winter raining just, yeah. and to 100 and humid. Yeah, which... Ugh, it's just because it's only April. I keep thinking it's I May. Know, I know it's been yeah. weirdly hot. Yep. Very weirdly hot. Um, so. yeah. So, uh, yeah. So I'm hoping to get started on hopefully by the time we see you next in two weeks. When is, Oh yeah. So we will have had the wool, wool walk. Yep. So we will be able to talk to you guys about our wool walk experience on our next episode. And I will hopefully have started on my LaPoof. Yes. I want to get started on that. Oh, and then, so I don't, I don't have a recent picture, I don't think. I posted, I think I'm a, I posted this in my stories a little while ago. My, I think I mentioned maybe last time that my son is oh. knitting a, um, a sample for me. And he's knitting, changing staircases on my... Um, He's knitting it with my uh That's really cool. JoJo's favorite base um in cobblestones is the colorway. And that's not the greatest. Uh, yeah, that's not doing it any justice. But anyway, 
when he gets done with it, I will have it and I will be able to show you guys. That was not, you can't. And he hasn't had any problems with that. He's figured out everything. He's doing it great. He's having no problems at all. Like his mama's. Just flying along. He showed me the other night when we were FaceTiming, mm. and uh, it looks really good. He's and wow. He, and I asked him, I said, do you think you'll have it done by the show we have coming up next week? And he said, yeah, he thinks I'll have Are it done. Are you serious? Yeah, so wow. I told him if he didn't, that was okay. I'd bring it, you know, partially done. Right. Um, but he said he thinks I'll have it done, so I'm going to bring the steamer and steam it. That's awesome. So that I can have it there, because it won't be blocked, because I, mm. I was going to send him up with stuff to block it Ooh. and I forgot to. Uh, oh, so, so he can block and is that it? Yeah, he uh-huh. could. Yeah. But but I didn't send that always I forgot to send it up with him. So right. I'm just gonna steam block it until I get it home after the show. Wow. So So yeah. He so, was born to knit. Yeah, he's doing a really good job. In the jeans. Yep. So, so. <laughs> I know everything <laughs> it's been a ay, ay, ay. Yeah. So well, this is a super short episode. If we, oh, I don't know. Well, I mean, do we have anything? It's okay. No, I, Ooh, I mean, nuts. I just dropped a stitch. Anyway, I did drop a stitch, or did I not drop a stitch? Nope, I didn't drop a stitch. Okay. Yes. <laughs> 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 All right. It is what it is. Okay. I have been. I actually dyed yarn this morning too. Yeah, yeah we've. Um, had, it's, I guess we've. Had it like it's been a weird couple of weeks. It's been yeah, it's been just like busy yeah. and. I thought I had planned fairly well with what I needed to get dyed mm-hmm. for the show and also for this special order, um, but apparently I did not plan quite as well as I had thought I had planned. So the last few days I've been trying to catch up. Yeah, yeah, play catch up. So. Yeah, it is what it is. And we've all been having like water issues and stuff too, and that's why we need the rain to stop. Yeah. Like the rain is a good thing, and then it's a. It's a bit much. Yeah. So. A bit much. But, so. Yeah. Um, any- I don't know. Do we have any? Like, I've been dyeing yarn, but honestly, I don't have. I mean, I showed you guys this, yeah. and like I said, if you're interested in. Wild tulips go to the skein, um, skein yarn shop, which I will have a link down below. But um, she's got it for got it up pre order up, and then you'll be able to either I assume that you can get it shipped or you can go pick it up in the store on local yarn shop day. But I'm not 100% sure, yeah, you'll have to, to look at the posting. But anyway, oh, here I, I didn't say what the picture was that oh, you did say the pe- people. Yeah, I know. I but you wanted to show them. the picture. Yeah. Let me see if I can find it. Okay. So. Do, 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 do. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. So that's the. That's such a pretty picture. Yeah. So. So that's, yeah, from from Wicked Tulips uh, Flower Farm up in rhode island yeah. so yeah gorgeous that was my inspiration for the yarn um <clears throat> that looks like a cool place to go i visit. know yeah. i know we gotta they, put that on I, the list they i just saw because i follow them on instagram mm-hmm. i just saw that they're um opening up for the season soon and do they do tours think, and stuff and i don't know i, I i'm hmm. not really sure what they know i think you can go you know get tulips obviously right they have they have tons. I think they just have a little bit of tulips there. Just a smell. Just a, like it's like crazy. The pictures that they had up the other day. It's gorgeous. Like, wow, that's a lot of tulips. So The positive thing about all the rain, we'll have yeah. beautiful flowers for May. Yeah. So, yeah. but anyway, so. But um, you didn't bring anything that you've been working on. This right. Oh, you mean in my studio? Yeah. Oh, I have pictures and stuff of that. Yeah. yeah okay. Oh, yeah. Did you want to show pictures? Um, Because I'll be honest, I'm not going to have time to (laughs) add anything. Oh, no. (laughs) I'll show. Let me see. So this Mm. is what I'm working on right now. Uh, Photos, photos, photos. Let's see. Spider, cat. (laughs) (laughs) She's got lots of spider pictures. Oof. Um, oh my gosh, I just had them. 
Well, here are some of the new um, stitch marker necklaces that I've been working on. Oh, so, so and I started mixing up like the different shapes. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. So I figured. Oh, I like that. Wait. Oh, just saw it. So that there. So I'm gonna yeah. try that out too. Um, oh, that's fun. And then some of. Um, is this some oh, of the are, stuff that you'll have at the yes. um, yep. show? Yeah. And this is just like a little process of how I do oh. some of my necklaces with the uh, transfer or the um, transparent paper. So that's what I've been working on painstakingly. I have to cut oh, all wow. those out. That's and so then cool. um, I'll put them in the, and do the resin and then put them under UV light. So that's what I've been working on. I guess I should. And then, um, you know, helping my husband down in the basement. <laughs> yeah. And, um, oh, the other funny thing, I said I officially changed my name to, uh, I think it was Kisa. They were calling oh, me. Oh, Kisa. That Kisa. was funny. I don't even know how they got that. That's not even I close said to her, Keisha. I said Kisha and Kisa. So I said, oh, well, my name has changed. It's Kisa. <laughs> I don't understand how they managed to butcher your name that, that badly. See, that's right. why it's good to have a name like Hope. Yeah, because, well, then people call you Faith. Yeah, well, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was trying to do some product pictures <laughs> when I was hiking. That's not a good lighting, but whatever. Oh. But, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it looks okay here, but there, yeah. it was still kind of it was still kind of eclipsy. Yeah. After. Oh, you tried to do a picture out at the... Yeah, because we... This was... Let me see. Cause, ooh. Nope, didn't want to do that. Um... That's up in Vermont. Yeah, so the sun was still, it was finished, and it was moving on, but it was still kind of weird, and I kind of didn't realize until after I took the picture. But the hat, though, it was perfect because it wasn't, um, this is also Hope's yarn, yeah. and um, Ophelia it's Ophelia and, and Keisha's, Keisha's Golden. And um, oh, my Splendid DK base. Yeah, and it was perfect because, you know, it was like a nice, I'll call it a spring hat. Yeah. Yeah, it was Perfect. Because like I said, I showed up there, I had a jacket on, the hat, and it was like 70 degrees because earlier that week, the weather, it was like they said it was going to be 50. And I thought, oh, we're going to be kind of like in the mountains and all. But then the eclipse happened and the temperature changed and it got windy. So only for a little bit, though. But so what is that? Oh, but anyways, I probably should have. You can see the bags back here. Mm -hmm. Those are all like it's a row of bags. There's a bag over here. A yarn that I have dyed up for the show coming up this week or next weekend. So I have plenty of yarn. Um, you can look on my website, which I will have linked below, um, to kind of get an idea of some of what I have. Um, most of the... Okay, there might be a couple of mm -hmm. colors that aren't on there yet. Um but most of what I will have is on there. Um, so you can kind of pre-shop <laughs> um, before you come to the show. But um, yeah, I will have lots and lots of yarn. I have I have so much that has to get labeled in the next <laughs> week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was printing labels yesterday, trying to start getting all that ready. And it's a lot of labels. <laughs> a lot of labels. So uh, it's all good. Wow. Um, Mm. Yeah. But, oh, and I've been reading books. Oh. I read six of my middle son read six of cards, I think, last summer, which um, if you are, if you watch Netflix, they had the show Shadow and Bone on Netflix, which was based on the book series Shadow and Bone. But there also was characters from Six of Crows and some of the storyline from Six of Crows was in that show as well. So my son said that if I read that book, that we could read the second book in the series together. So we're going to do that over the summer. So, um, so I was reading Six of Crows and it was really, it was really good, but it was also, I felt like I knew a lot of the story because I had watched the TV series. So um, a lot of the backstory for the characters in the Six of Crow books was uh, given to you in, during the TV series. Uh. So then it was just what, kind of all the backstory you already knew and then so that part was kind of you know just like a recap for me and then the new new storyline was going on as well so but it was very good it was very good I finished it in a couple of days I was actually 
list. Uh, I had. <laughs> I was when I finished. I had my Kindle read it to me instead. Like I couldn't get an audiobook, which I was what I would have preferred. But since I couldn't get an audiobook, I just did the. Um, I just had like the do the the text to speech type of thing and oh I was, where it sounds very yeah. robotic like it's this actually, oh it's not it's that not bad, that bad. Oh. it sounds like siri so it's not really bad so i was having it read me that and um i was dying yarn while i was listening to the book so i got it done in a couple of days so i've actually been listening to books while i dye yarn lately which has been kind of nice i can't remember what i was listening to i don't know when was the last time was it March when we last podcast? Um, yeah, because today's only the 12th. Yeah. So two weeks ago so I guess would have been March. I finished another Frida McFadden book, Never Lie. And, oh, um, that's right. I know what else I read. Yeah. Go ahead. And it's like a kind of like a psychological thriller. It's really good. I love the twist in her books. You know, yeah. Don't read them before you go to bed, though. <laughs> that's what i've learned so but i have a couple of books that i'm trying to i started a while back but um you know my squirrel brain i'm like oh i like that book cover and i'll start that book and so i have i think by the time we'll meet up i'll have two books finished and i'll have to give you guys what i thought what i thought about them yeah so. uh, the other book that i read was the lost bookshop i think i started that or i read that book yeah, the lost bookshop by Evie Woods. It's on my list. That's what it is. Yeah. I, it was, it was very good. Um, it was, it was very, it was a very good book. It, mm -hmm. it was, um, kind of had some, um, uh, yeah, I'm losing it. Don't mind me. Um, <laughs> it kind of had some like supernatural kind of Ooh, stuff going like on stuff like that. in it, but not, but it wasn't like it. It, it was it was a very interesting book. It was it was very good. Did I have that on? I feel like it was the last bookshop or something. I the lost bookshop. The lost bookshop is what it was called. It was very Let's good. See. Um, so the lost bookshop. That it says the keeper of stories meets the lost apothecary. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. It was it was very good. It was a very good book. Um, oh, I do have it. Want to read? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, but it was very good. I enjoyed it. Um, and then I'm t today. I was just wanting because I finished up my other book and I didn't have anything to read, so I just threw on a just super fun, like goofy book. Um, because I, I I had read the Vampire Knitting Club, um, or not read it. I listened to it when I was first started dyeing yarn, I was listening to the Vampire Knitting Club while I was dyeing yarn. And then the author of that, Nancy Warren, has another series, um, the Vampire Book Club. Hmm. So this is the, they're super fast. Like they're audio books. I get them from Hoopla. They're like five hours long. They're that way, let's super do fast and silly. And That's what I need. I need some happy books. I keep yeah. reading like. Well, somebody usually, I mean, they're all like a cozy mystery, like they're right. a cozy mystery. And so somebody dies in the book, but it's. I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's I, not well, anything. not okay that, with that. Like it's not, it's, there's nothing. It's just kind of goofy. And so in, this one was called In Want of a Knife. And um, so apparently Jane Austen is a vampire in this one. So yeah. uh, anyway, it's. I, I, even the you know the the covers kind of have like this Nancy Drew type look. Yeah, you know what I mean? They're like just, they're just kind of silly. Yeah, yeah. I think that's supposed to be Jane Austen there. So uh. yeah, so uh, yeah, they're they're just kind of fun. It's a this one is a spin off from the Vampire Knitting Club. This is a, they're in a different town and it's the Vampire um, Book Club. So and I was listening to that while I was dying yarn this morning. So. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty much, that's what I've been up to. Up to. <laughs> so. so this will that, be a short one. That and, and I've been watching the, the show that you told me. I've been oh, Resident the, Aliens. Yeah, so what do you guys think of that? It's funny. Yeah, yeah my, I like it. My oldest son and I have been watching. Uh, <laughs> Resident Aliens. I love how he laughs. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, we're in the most recent season. Yeah. So I'm trying to think. Uh. And I watched um, a little bit of uh, anime with my... Um, 
middle son oh. we watched some he got we we were watching i guess well it's been a while we started it a while ago but then we kind of hadn't watched it for a while but while he was home on spring break we well not home well yeah home i mean they weren't in school so mm-hmm. we and he had little extra time so we watched a few episodes of demon slayer which is an anime oh so i have to get back to i still have to finish the um Oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of it now. The one that you used to watch that Kylie? Yes, I was reading, reading all the, the books. books. Yeah. What was that called? I don't remember. Oh my gosh, Titans. something Titans. Something yeah, something Titans. Something Titans. And there it's kind of weird because Attack you, of the Titans. Attack, Attack of, of Titans. Yes. Attack of, Attack of Titans. Something like that. Yeah. And you have to read the book backwards. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, so it is weird. Like and once you get out of it, you, just to get back into it again. I, I and I did love the books and yeah. then I stopped for some odd reason. Oh, I caught up to, I needed to order more books. I think I'm at 26 or something like that. Oh, you have to order? Yeah. Oh, you can't get them from the library or anything? No, because I want to oh, have want the, the set. Books. I want the set. Oh, okay. Because I'm a so weirdo like that. you have to order them. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's funny. But, yeah, yeah, that's, I might, oh, I'm purling. Yeah, I was looking. I actually was trying to figure out, I need to order more dye, so. I was putting together that today. Yes. So, well. Um, and that, and I need to order yarn. Well, I just ordered some stuff right before we went on, went on air. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. but, but anyways. Yeah. So, um, so I think that's pretty, unless you've yeah, got anything nope. else. I think that's it for right now, for that. today. We'll be, like we said, local yarn store, yep. April 20th and 21st, mm-hmm. um, during the wool walk. So come out and see us. We yes. would love to see you come shop come hang out um it's such a it's a very nice store lovely group of people always whenever we're there yeah um so yeah so we'll be there like i said on saturday uh murky depths dye works will be there as well as us if you're not into large crowds and you'd like to see us probably sunday is your better bet because (laughs) yeah it will just be us on sunday and um that's the last day of the wool walk so um if you prefer you know a more intimate setting <laughs> it'll be a little bit yeah and yeah. it's a uh, shorter hours that day too so yeah. um and that's not for we'll good weather there. too yes i think it's about, but that's the thing i think saturday is supposed to be nice and then i think sunday is supposed to be I'm not sure yeah. who knows but we had and who knows had, with the weather because we had rainy weather last year and that did not yeah, stop anybody that didn't stop out. yeah we had a great turnout and we had because we, we are fierce yeah we had a, it was very enjoyable we had a yeah, it was really pouring nice that day it was we, yeah that's the only bad thing about when it's raining we have to unload the car and set everything up and carry all our mm-hmm. bags and stuff in in the rain and it's everything it's just i mean yeah. we have everything's in plastic so nothing's getting wet it's just that you know it's still yeah yeah right. <laughs> it's just it was good though it is what it is yeah so yeah um i think that's pretty much wrapping it up it. yeah yeah um not like, a lot going on this time We're just yeah. busy uh if this you works. are if you do follow us on instagram or um i will be sharing more information about this as it gets as we, as I get more information, so um, keep an eye out for that. Um, I think we probably will have another. Po- yeah, we should definitely have another podcast before it gets released. So, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. I will be able to share more um, on our next podcast about it too, so that you have the information in case you do want to knit one. Um, it is really it's pretty and it's a fun knit. It's really interesting. It's definitely um, the. The beginning of it with all the increases that took a little bit more focus but then once i was doing this section i was able to knit it wherever i was at it was Uh not a problem and then the decrease section was a little bit more focused but the middle part of it i was able to just you know fly through it really it was but it's very but it's still very interesting and fun you won't get bored with it no yes exactly it's a fun knit so if you're looking for something you know because i always like to have a lot of like different projects i right. don't want to just have socks that are just you know vanilla and right i want some you know challenging less challenging depending on what where i'm knitting you know obviously if it's something i really need to focus on i don't want to take that out to like right. nights or when i'm sitting at the doctor's office or whatever but when i'm just you know sitting and 
have time to really focus, then I enjoy that too. To, yeah. To be able to just sit and, and kind of take my mind off whatever's going on with a nice, more little trickier project sometimes. It's good meditation. That's right. Knitting and meditation yeah. with hope. <laughs> so, so. Um, I guess that's... Oh, so, uh, yeah, we'll have another episode before our the next time we are knitting. Oh, I, we haven't even discussed it, but... Are Rally Sheep and Wool. Aren't we going to that? We, we've talked about it, mm -hmm. I, maybe on Saturday. That's the beginning of May, right? Yeah. It's, okay. you, I think, like, the 4th of May. But we'll have a thing before yes, then now. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah, so... I don't know why um, I feel like that's coming up next weekend or something. Not next weekend, but... Yeah. Yeah, so if you're going to be at Maryland Sheep and Wool, drop us a comment and let us know. When, and we'll, you know, keep an eye out for us. We'll keep an eye out for you. We we yeah. do plan on uh, trying to get down to Maryland Sheep and Wool at least on Saturday. We're just mm -hmm. going to go down for the It'll day. It'll probably rain. Who knows? <laughs> we might I don't know why float down I know. To, In a boat. Yeah, who knows? It, it, yeah. Last year was gorgeous. I mean, last year was really gorgeous. It was, yeah. Which was weird because normally it always rains. Always rain because the boat times that I have went with one time. No, because you'd only, that was only our second time. Second time, right. Us together. Both right. of the times I had gone before it had rained because mm -hmm. I went with my middle son and then I went with you and it rained both those times. Yeah. And then last year it was absolutely gorgeous. It was gorgeous. really nice. And it was really nice yeah. to the point where actually I had this on. I had this and, on. And, it yeah, in jeans. And, it was really oh, warm. It was yeah. warm. So. Yeah. So, yeah. And then we've got the knit night at the library coming up on the 29th of April. Mm -hmm. And then... um yeah, and then we have to discuss decide if we're going to do knit nights on the beach or if we want to do knit nights. Maybe I was thinking maybe even the little like isn't there like a gazebo-y type thing at the that end of the boardwalk? There is, isn't there like a little pavilion-y gazebo thing? Oh yeah, at that end of the boardwalk. Yeah, it's around what's it, tenth or eleventh street? No, it's 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 down at the end where there's not stores and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I don't remember what street it's at. I can't remember what street it is Maybe either. we need to take a, a... Because I was thinking that might be nice for... Because I know some people have a little trickier time with the sand. Yeah. So maybe we can do oh, yeah. some meet meetups. I got to figure out where that is. Yeah, because I don't remember what street it's yeah, at. Yeah, it's not 9th or 10th. But it's we, like... we did meetups on the beach last year during the summer. Yeah. Um, and maybe we could do some either on the beach or maybe in the... Because that's also a little further down, too, where you probably won't get as many people. Right. You don't yeah. have the, the like traffic. The, the, the dancing the... Um, French Canadians. Where are you Remember talking? the lady that was sitting behind oh, us? Oh, that was... It was disturbing. giving quite the show. Yeah. That was... Quite the show. That yes. That was a bit much. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that. Mm. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So we'll have to figure out where that is because maybe we can do like... I mean, up there on the actual beach, and then some up on. Yeah, depending the on like wind and all that yeah. other stuff too. Yeah, so that might be nice to do them on the boardwalk. I don't. The thing is, I don't know whether you can actually see the water from. But well, maybe you can. You can because it's like. Yeah. 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 So that should be nice. That would be nice. Yeah. So we might do some meetups in the little gazebo, and that way, anybody who has, um, I can talk. Anybody who has difficulty maneuvering on sand, that yeah. might work better for for some some of uh, our our friends that have. Um, I cannot I know. talk. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. If you have difficulty oh, maneuvering on sand, maybe that would be a, a good a alternative. better alternative. Yeah, and we can um, have some some knit nights there. Um, so hopefully we will we'll let you know as as we figure that all out. Twentieth Street. Oh, is it 20th Street that mm -hmm. has the... Okay. Yep. So, yeah. So, that's not far from where we normally... We were meeting up at 18th Street. So, that wouldn't be that far from where we were meeting. So, so that would work out well, too, I think. Um, so, we'll let yeah. you know if we... We had hoped to do a meetup during the winter, but we just... Uh, ran out see? of time. Yeah. Yeah. I knew there was a gazebo somewhere. Yeah, and it's right on the beach. Yeah. Which I think is nice. Huh. And But gives us the, you know... Because not everybody wants to, or, and it's hard, you know, for some people to haul chairs and everything as well. Yep. That, that can be tricky, so maybe we just do that instead. Um, yeah. And then you don't have to worry about bringing a chair. Yep. Chairs provided by the... Because not everybody, yeah. Yeah. So we will let there you we know. 
yeah, we'll let you know Not the best um, picture, but what we, you know, what we come up with that might be a good alternative to actually sitting on the beach. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so hmm. other than that, I don't think we've got anything else. Yep, that... Hopefully I can get through this pretty quickly and get this up. Sorry that it's probably not as long as usual. And also that, yeah. For brain farting? Probably not Sorry. at the time when you're normally expecting it to come out as either. Because you just, it is what it is. You know, I had, I had a doctor's appointment for one of my kids yesterday and I was dying yarn in the morning, so. I'm fighting off spiders. So I, no, I was, I was running <laughs> from them. So it is what it is. Anyway, I think that's pretty much yeah. it. So we will see you in two. Well, hopefully, maybe we'll see some of you in person yep. in a week. In a week. And for those of you who cannot make it to the local yarn store, we'll see you in two weeks. Yep. So. And don't forget, like and subscribe. Yes. And tell and all your friends. Yes, please share. Um, please. That actually is a big help yeah. for us. If you are on any other types of social media, if you could just share, share. with your friends and let them know about us, we would appreciate it. Um, and also, if you have any, you know, anything you want to share with us, you can drop a comment down yep. below. Um because we'd love to hear from you. Give us some book su suggestions. Yes. Some happy, happy books. Some book suggestions. I need some happy books. Great. Yeah, yeah, that would be amazing. Like I said, that's what I've been doing. Some while I'm good dying. summer reads. Yeah, I've been like I said, I've been listening yes. to books while I've been dying yarn lately, and I could use some yeah some new new titles to yes. add to my list. Yeah. All right. All right, friends. Okay. Have a good. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.